And now we're on page four. And on page four, we're going to be talking about how to calculate the sales taxes that everybody pays when they're shopping, whether it's for clothes or groceries or toiletries, whether you buy something online or in a store, we all have to pay sales taxes. Now I'd like to remind you guys that I want you having a calculator out, please, to punch in the numbers along the way so that you can see what I'm getting and how to round and so on. And we're going to dive on in here with number one. So we got that Jason bought a TV, that's $2,200 and the sales tax is 5%. So we wanna know how much did he pay for the TV. So first we're gonna find the 5% sales tax by simply multiplying the cost of the TV times 5% as a decimal. Friendly reminder that when you move the decimal back, this is 0.05, and when you multiply in the calculator, we can see that it's $110 tax. Since we wanna know how much he paid for the TV, we're going to take the cost of the TV, add tax, and we can see that the TV would cost $2,310 total. All right, for number two, Emily purchased a new pair of sunglasses for $120. If the sales tax is 6%, how much did she pay for the sunglasses? So once again, we wanna know how much did the person pay? So first, we're gonna find how much the tax would be by multiplying the cost of the sunglasses times 6% as a decimal. So $120 times 0 0.06 in your calculators, you're gonna see that that's $7.20 that she's gonna to have to pay tax. So if you take the cost of the sunglasses and add the tax, we can see that she's gonna pay $127.20 for the sunglasses. All right, next, we have that Brock bought a video game for $55. The sales tax for Brock's, Brock is, is 5.5%. This question is asking how much tax will he pay on the video game? So because it's asking just for tax, we're gonna stop after that first calculation in the calculator. Now, real quick, I just wanted to remind you guys as well that since we have a 5.5%, when we move the decimal back twice, that is a 0.055, and that's what we're multiplying the cost of the video game by in the calculator. So when you multiply the $55 cost of the video game times the 5.5% tax as a decimal, we're gonna get 3.025. This third number is a five or higher, so that's gonna round the two up, and Brock will pay $3.03 .03 in tax, all right? Now for number four, Molly bought a new suit for work and the subtotal was 195. So all a subtotal is, is it's kind of like the total underneath the amount that it's actually going to cost because we're about to have to add the tax in, okay? So the sales tax is 7.5%, and we want to know how much did Molly pay for the suit. Now, if this question is asking how much did she pay for the suit, we are going to have to add in the tax to get the total answer. So first, we've got 7.5%, and when we move the decimal back twice, it is a 0 0.075 in the calculator, and we're going to multiply that decimal times the cost of the suit. Now we have another rounding situation where this 5 will round this 2 up to a 3, and Molly's going to pay $14.63 in tax. If we add that to the cost of the suit, we can see it's going to be 209.63 that Molly will pay for the suit. And for our last practice problem here, before we review some keywords, we have that Miss Hoffman bought a new running, some new running shoes to fulfill a New Year's resolution of getting fit. The shoes cost $59.50, and I want to know how much tax did Miss Hoffman pay on her shoes if the sales tax is 5%. So 5%, back to just being a 0 .05 that we plug into the calculator. And when we multiply it by the cost of the shoes, we're going to get 2.975. Since this is a 5, that's going to round the 7 up. And it's just asking, when I highlight here, the question is, how much tax did I pay? So when we find 5% of 5950, we have just found the 5% tax that I'll have to pay, and we'd be done. So kind of like with discounts and tip, it's up to us to kind of read the question carefully. And we would find tax only when we see things like how much is sales tax? What's the amount of tax? How much tax did he or she pay? So questions like number five here, how much tax did I pay? We stopped after the sales tax um, calculation. Now, in some of the other problems, when we saw things like how much did they spend or what's the total? What was the price of buying something or how much will it cost or how much did he or she pay? 
that's when we want to take the sales tax that we calculated first and then add it in to the original price and we'll have the new total. So if you want to pause the video and try the problems down below, that'd be great. And then when you hit play, I'll go over them. Okay, so go ahead and hit pause. All right, so for the helmet at Sports Zone and the mouth guard, when you add the price of those two together, it's going to be $70.50. And then it's going to be a 6% sales tax. So when you multiply the total of the two items times 6%, it's going to be $4.23 in tax. Now, I do want to point out that you could do 6% of this and then do 6% of this and add those two numbers together, and it would be the same as if you had added these together first and then got 6% of that total. Um, all right, so it asks how much will you spend? So that means we're going to have to add the tax into the total of the two items, and the total price here would be $74.73. And for the last one here, if I reach a, recently purchased the running watch for $129.99, with sales tax being 10% in DC, how much would I have paid for the watch? So this asking, this is asking for the total. Actually, sorry, it's saying how much tax did I pay for the watch? So we're going to stop after the original calculation. So we've got the price of the watch times the 10%. Or you might remember, you can just move the decimal over once since it's 10%. And we can see here that the 9 would round this up to $13 tax. I paid $13 in tax for that watch for the $129.99. And that concludes our video on page 4 for calculating sales taxes and for how to calculate totals when you just add the tax in. Thank you. Thank you.